welcome back now today i'll be introducing elements now for this uh, i'm going to leave this particular design we've already done our uh, brochure now uh, you can you know uh, you can either uh, keep your brochure you can you know have multiple pages now to add multiple pages you just have to click on add a new page uh, if you want to copy the same design elements into the next page, you just have to uh, create on the copy page. But now uh, to introduce elements, I'm going to leave this design and I'm going to go to my home page. So I'm going to click on my home page and take it to my home page. But here, what I do is uh, I'm going to click on a create a design and I'm going to click on a poster. When I click on poster, it will create a blank template for me. So the first thing I do is uh, I rename the poster. And I go use character. Now immediately uh, on the left side, uh, the template, uh, I would say sidebar opens up with a lot of, uh, I would say default templates. So now since I'll be introducing uh, elements today, I will not be using any of those. So I'm going to resize this so that you can see it better. Now when I go to the elements uh, sidebar, it opens up a lot of features. Now you can see the recently used uh, elements. Now what we can do is I can introduce the elements tab. Now in the elements tab, uh, you have uh, shapes, lines, illustrations, icons, frames, grids, uh, stickers, charts, and gradients. So uh, you can use all these to make your, um, I would say, design interesting and eye-popping. Now if you need to use uh, infographics and if this is a presentation you can use the uh, charts element so if you are uh, introducing into a lot of uh, various kinds of charts so now today um, i'm going to use lines and when i click on the lines tab and it opens up a whole lot of possibilities so i'm going to click on Add one more. It seems interesting. So here, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to create a sort of a design over here using just the lines. So now I'm searching for a line that kind of you know complement this design. And I can recolor this using the color button. So I'm going to click on the color button and use the same shade of, um, I would say, brick red. So I'm using the document color so this becomes easy. I do not really have to hunt for the exact shade. Once that is ready, I can go to probably some other element. Now, once I'm done with the lines, I click on the cancel button and next I'll go to the gradient. And with gradients, uh, you see a lot of, I would say, beautiful looking, you know, really gorgeous looking gradients. So you can probably click on a particular gradient and then scale it. And when you scale, you realize that you know it um, hides or it overlaps. So what you can do is click on that particular design, and then use the position uh, tool to push it back. 
and now your design is complete so let us scale it a little bit once you're happy you can either leave the design as it is or you have uh, the option of uh, recoloring your gradient now uh, once you're done with this you can again cancel the gradient so the next element uh, i'm going to choose this uh, sticker now when you click on the sticker you get a lot of uh, animated stickers We have a lot of uh, social media stickers as well. So all you have to do is uh, select based on your. Now um, I'm going to click on the arrow. So I'm going to select this particular sticker. This is just what I like. Nothing too fancy. So I'm going to choose this here. I'm going to leave it. Yeah. And probably position it. So I not want to see it. Um, so now I'm going to add text. And for that, again, you go to your uh, dashboard, you go to your um, sidebar, go to the text feature. You have your um, five faces. You select any one. I mean, this side of this. And as you can see, it is it has been grouped. So you have two options. You can either edit it here, or you can ungroup and change. To resize it. And then click on this, select it. Canva. Now, as you can see, it's not really aligned properly, so I'm going to probably increase the size of the icon to bigger. So once you're done, so you can simply leave it. Now let's go back to our elements. Now I'm going to add a frame. Now frames are useful when you you know need to add uh, pictures or photos, and you do not want the same old um, I would say photo that um, is all square and boring. So now I'm going to add a frame, and then I'm going to go back to the Photo. So if you have a photo, a uh, personal photo, or, um, you can, you know, use the upload button and the uh, upload from your system. Now uh, here I'm going to use a recently used uh, photo. Now what you can do is either you can, uh, um, you know, you can click on this photo and then you can drag it into your frame, or you can. Drag it from your photos tab and you know add it over here. And then um, you can even change your background. You just have to click on the color palette and choose a color. There you go. So this is how you can use your uh, elements. So we have a lot of elements that we can use. There are, you know, other elements that are not used in this particular uh, design that are uh, shapes. Shapes are also quite uh, useful. You can probably create a shape around. So again, I'm going to go to position, send to that. I can use smaller. 
Ano na pinis? The shape. Ano pa ang stone the shape? Pinis multiple, you know? Colors to make it interesting. And there you go. So this is what you can uh, do with shapes. So I'll be uh, introducing other features in the next class. Thank you. Thank you.